Hey, hey guys. Okay, I'm going to make this video here. It's going to be a long video because it's going to be a how-to video. But there's been some people that are having troubles here and they're asking me about how to properly get one of these motors to work. So this is just one I test coils out on. I don't use this one, but it's easy one for me to show. So I'll, I'm going to take off all the wiring on this one and I'm, I'll redo it exactly how it should be done because what's going on out there is people are taking like one of these transistors without any heat sink or fuck all on it. And they wire the motor up properly and then they turn the motor on and it fries the transistor and they're wondering why it doesn't work. But, as you can see, these are all just like one transistor. They're paralleled all together. All these wires are fucking going to each other. Like All the emitters are connected. All the collectors are collect uh, connected and the bases are all connected together. So this is just one transistor. So, if you're not doing this step... Don't even message me for get it for help because I won't help you after that. If you want to do it right, you gotta do it. I'll do I'll start right from scratch. I'll take three transistors, I'll show you how to mount them. I'll do everything right from zero here. But first I'll take the wiring off of this motor and I'll start right from nothing with different wires and everything. Gonna be just a quick scrap wire connections. So that's it. That's the whole circuit in and out. Just an old piece together motor for testing coils. And these are the these transistors here. two two four ones. These are pretty good. They're not as good as the fifty six but these will do if you don't have any fifty sixes. But I don't ever use anything less than three. I always parallel three of them together. I'll show an easier way to parallel them. So I just took this piece of a scrap aluminum Cut it up. Take some thermal paste. You guys hope you can see. Each transistor is back. I believe people actually just wire up a transistor with no heat sink on it. Go to use heat sinks, guys. If you're skipping this step, don't even bother, because it won't work.
big deal if you get a motor that works for five minutes and then it kills itself. Lots of people don't have this stuff, but if you don't have this stuff, you should actually get it to save you a lot of trouble. Don't over tighten them but make them so they you can't really wiggle them around so they want to stay straight on there. Be a long boring video but you need to just skip ahead it's just so much easier for me just to show it like this make a new video and set up everybody messaging me If you hook up your motor once you have it all wired up and it's you hook it up to the input batteries, you got your output battery, everything is all hooked up, you take your wires and you hook it up to the input and it tries to turn the rotor like it jerks it like that, then your transistors are probably fried. If it's all wired up properly. If it's trying to move while well, you got it wired up properly before you spin it, then it's probably tr fried transistors. show you the easiest way to parallel these that I do anyway there's probably easier ways that our people can figure it out done with that real decently tight on there to the base, so I'll just bend them all up. Could be 
right so that the needle moves. Try not to bend it right where it comes out of the transistor. Try to bend it lower. I like to bend all my bases up. The emitters, I'll bend them down a bit. Collectors can almost stay where they are, just bend them up a bit. Right. Done. So now my emitter will make it block. This is just some junk wire I've got laying around, so that's what I'm going to use. that little piece. This is solid core. Probably like a 19. Put onto at least one of them so it makes it easier to solder. like that it's pretty much stuck there Pop it up and solder it on Make sure your connections are good too. Nothing worse than having a shitty connection when you're trying to make something work. That's done. Now, here's another piece of solid core wire, I think. This will be good for the emitter. This connects to the coils. Same thing. Sorry about the noise there, that's an inverter and I 
this place runs off the grid pretty much so it's got to be on.